Alrighty guys, well I made this knife a few weeks ago and I called it my war knife, or my battle blade since it looked extremely tactical to me, and today we're going to be making a sheath for this knife. The sheath that we will be making today will be a hybrid kydex leather sheath. So the first thing we'll do is we'll make the taco style sheath out of kydex and then attach some leather to it later on in the build. This is my DIY kydex press, it is two pieces of wood with some thermo foam glued to that wood and then two hinges on the back. I heat up my kydex to around 290 degrees Fahrenheit and then quickly form a taco around my blade in the kydex press. I leave it to cool for around 10 minutes. Using a ruler I mark off where I want my holes to be drilled. I like to drill these holes around 3 quarters of an inch apart from each other so that if the end user would ever want to use a different style clip they can buy some common clips on the market. We drilled quarter inch holes that will be accepting quarter inch eyelets. I found the best eyelets to use are from DIY Holster. These are very well made eyelets and they will not crush when being used with an arbor press. Once I have the general shape of the sheath drawn out, I'll cut out the rough shape with my bandsaw and then use the 2x72 belt sander to grind out the appropriate profile. When doing my rough shaping, I like to use some eyelets from Quick Clips, which is a lower quality eyelet that does not work well in the final product, but does a good job at holding everything together while shaping, and I won't be worried about scratching these eyelets when shaping the sheath. Once we have the sheath profiled out, I use some hand sandpaper to get it up to a 320 grit finish on the edges. Then I take great care into cleaning out the sheath so that there is no left behind grit in the sheath to scratch our blade. Once we have the sheath nice and cleaned out, we will install our eyelets. To do so, we will be using the eyelet dies from DIY Holster on our arbor press. At this point, if we did our job right in the grinding process, we'll have a nice tight fit with our knife. I like to keep the tape on the edge of the blade when testing the fit just to further protect the blade going in and out of the sheath. One feature on a taco sheath that I find necessary is to add a thumb ramp onto the sheath so that you can get the knife out of the sheath easily with one hand. To do this we heat up the back of the sheath with a heat gun and then use a gloved hand to push the shape of a thumb on the back of the sheath. This allows one hand operation of our taco sheath. In order to carry this knife on our belt, we will be affixing a piece of leather to this kydex sheath. This is the pattern that I decided to use. I will be wearing this knife in the horizontal orientation, and we will be using a piece of 7 ounce Wicked and Craig leather for this part of the build. Once I have my pattern cut out with my head knife, I bring it over to the 2x72 inch belt grinder in order to sure up my curves. After that, I bevel all the edges on the inside and the outside with a number two edge beveler from Tandy Leather Supply. Using the Kydex taco sheet as a template, I lay it out on top of my leather and use an awl to mark my holes. I then punch these holes, fold the leather over to mark the other holes on the other side, mark those holes, and punch those holes as well. Now that we have all of our holes punched, we will be doing a little bit of bordering and tooling to make this leather look good. First step is to use a set of spring dividers to set our border and then we will be punching a camouflage stamp into this border. We will also be stamping in my maker's mark which will be viewable in the front of the sheath when wearing it in the right handed orientation. I awkwardly used my arbor press to press in my maker's mark into this piece of leather. I should have clamped that arbor press down to my bench but I got lazy. I then used a camouflage stamp from Tandy Leather Supply to stamp all the way around my border. It's worth noting that per Mr. Dave Ferry's advice, I used Procarve for doing all this tooling and it did a darn good job at casing my leather. Now that we have our tooling done, we will be cleaning up the edges of the sheet. I'm using some saddle soap here as well as some 320 grit sandpaper. My last strokes are all in the same direction and the goal here is to get all the fibers on the edge to lay down nice and smoothly. I then coat the entire sheath with some 100% pure Neats foot oil and then dry the sheath with a heat gun. I'll then use some 600 grit sandpaper along with some more saddle soap to get all these fibers on the edge nice and smooth. After I've done that, I'll use some leather dye on the edges, then hit it with some beeswax and burnish my edge. 
To burnish my edges, I will be using some really cheap Dremel burnishers in my drill press. I would like to note here that if you are interested in any of these notable items, I will put affiliate links in the description below, and if you use these links, it will help the channel. To affix the leather onto the Kydex sheath, we will use some 3 8 of an inch Chicago screws. I found that the half inch Chicago screws were just too long for this project. I will also be putting some rubber spacers on the side of the sheath that will go towards the body. This will allow just a little bit more room for the belt to pass through between the kydex and the leather components of the sheath. So once we have these Chicago screws installed, the sheath is complete. And this is how our sheath turned out. This is the first time that I combined both leather and kydex into one sheath. And that is extremely appropriate with this knife since this knife has a lot of first in it, including my first hollow grind and my first clip. So this is the total combo put together. I'm super happy with how this guy turned out and I hope that y'all enjoyed the video. And like always, if you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, I recently created a Patreon account, so if you're looking for a way to help out the channel, that's the way to do it. Until the next time, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.